Annyeonghaseyo, aka hello, how are you guys? There's a lot of trick tip videos that I grew up on, a lot of videos giving off the easiest tricks to learn as you go along in skateboarding, but there have been a lot of people coming out lately who are extra creative. And with these creative people, I've noticed that there's a lot of tricks that people will learn without actually requiring an ollie or a kickflip. And it's been amazingly inspiring. I actually think that some people could learn these tricks their first day on a skateboard if you take the time and try to figure them out, but they're more of creative tricks. And they are tricks that I think that you can learn in 24 hours. But I actually have 10 tricks just in case, but I want you guys to make a mission to learn five in one day. And then if you want, expand to the 10. Now the first one, I don't even know if it has a name, but I think it's appropriate to call it the kiki flip because you run next to the board and then you flip it with a kick flip by kicking under the board to make it flip like a heel flip. I think the coolest way to do it is to take three steps and then to hit it up, but there are other variations you can do. You can have your feet wrap around the side of the board and then flip it yourself, which is an old school kick flip. And then you can take one step, just bounce and kick and flip it. But I think this one is a good start to get the idea of what it would be like to flip your skateboard. Next trick is the power slide back 360. This one helps with more board control, period. The more that you can skirt around and do power slides, backside power slides, all those good things, you will get better at skateboarding. But along with the backside power slide 360, I like doing the half cab shift where you just basically pivot from half cab position to regular and then backside power slide. I think it looks really cool. Now this one some people might think is stupid, but I think it sets up for a lot of really creative tricks and that's the falcon stop. Dark side tricks are becoming more and more popular. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of people do fun variations with dark slide type tricks and they're actually easier than you think. So the Falcon Stomp is the way to start off that process. Now this one was actually inspired by my friend John Rays who can't really consistently do kick flips but he can consistently do tail block finger flips. I don't think that's what they're called but you stop with your tail and then you grab the nose, you jump up, you flip the board with your finger. It's funny because kick flip is easier for me but a lot of people who are newer to skating says this one is easier. But from here I would actually try the bean plant finger flip where you take your front foot off you grab the nose and you flip it with your finger as well I think both these tricks look equally cool now this one the idea is simple but sometimes it can be difficult and that's the firecracker now a firecracker downstairs is scary that's a scary one to learn but people respect someone who can do this even off a curb so instead of just simply riding off a curb as you're going off you push down at your tail at the right time and it makes this loud popping noise it always just gives someone a level of, I know what I'm doing on a skateboard. Now this one requires a crack or a curb block where there's a small ramp, something small that can knock your board in the air if you kick your board at it. This one, you can run next to your board as your board hits it, goes in the air, and then as your board's coming down, you can jump on it. I would call this one a ghost ride wally. So this one is definitely stepping it up a notch, but a no comply impossible. This might take a minute to adjust to, but I do think a lot of beginners can figure this out if they take the time. All you have to do is put pressure on your tail so that when you remove your front foot, the board naturally wants to pop and go up like this. As it's going up, you let the board go all the way vertical and then you wrap your foot around the tail and flip it up quickly so that the board goes all the way around and then you just jump on it before it hits the ground. It actually is slightly confusing. I would say this one's definitely the hardest so far, but it's definitely achievable and I know your faces can do this. Now the last one I have in mind is a front side 540 kick turn on a bank. This one looks super Super cool. And from here, you would just practice on banks that get steeper and steeper. So first, start off on something really mellow. And I promise, this trick always looks cool. I think anyone who can do this, it shows that you have a level of control, but it does take a second to figure out where you need to distribute your weight. But this one's all about trying and then figuring it out as you go. So unfortunately, my only trick tip for this one is to just try it. And you'll figure it out, I promise. And 
that's it. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how many that you tackle in one day because even if you don't do five, that doesn't mean that you failed, my friend. Go out there and just try to do one or two of these. See how it feels and I promise you every time you learn one new trick, it encourages you to learn more. A lot of people go from Ollie and then they try the kickflip and then they're vastly disappointed that they can't do a kickflip quickly so they tap out of skateboarding but that's not how it should be. There are so many tricks that you can learn from Ollie to kickflip. I mean hundreds and hundreds and now that people are getting more creative in skateboarding, there should be a trick tips video teaching all of these miscellaneous tricks that people don't typically teach. Now that I say that out loud, I think that would be really fun because there are so many. Just remember in skateboarding there is no set way to skateboard so you can do whatever you want. You can consider almost anything a trick. You can invent things right away. Just have fun with it. Go out there and just play around. That's what it is. It's a toy. Have fun and tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for a new video on this channel. We're actually in Texas right now. We're about to head to California for a seven day vacation. It's going to be epic. But if you want to tune in real time, you can follow me on Instagram at John Hill. And then of course on Twitter at John Hill Tube. Follow me wherever you'd like and also smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I appreciate your faces. Uh, that's it. Love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it.